China International Services Trade Fair, CIFTIS 2020, was this year's first major event in China since the beginning of the pandemic. And the real sensation was the robot trade fairgrounds. Service, medical, and warehouse robots, humanoid robots, and robotic animals see the most complete overview of incredible robots from the exhibition in China in one issue. Canbot brought to the exhibition Zaiyu, a robot cooker who is trained to cook according to the traditions of eight large cooking schools in China and is able to cook more than 3,000 dishes. However, it's clear from the demonstration that all the ingredients are added manually by a person, which makes the robot look like a large multi-culinary machine. The robot barista from Orion Star Technology looks more interesting. The company has already deployed over 10,000 of its smart robots to serve people all over China. The intelligent barista is able to cook not only standard Americano and cappuccinos, but is also able to reproduce various authors' recipes such as syrups and other additives. Qualcomm's barista robot is based on industrial manipulators and is geared to preparing only standard coffee products, but it can draw figures on foam and make up to 1,000 cups of coffee a day without getting tired or losing quality. The real extravaganza at the exhibition was made by the four-legged and six-legged robots. Thus, a robot with six legs, created by the researchers from the Shanghai Zhaitong University, carried 20 kilograms or 44.1 pounds of water during the demonstration of the fair. The engineers claimed that the six legs allow the robot to lift more weight and be more stable on difficult terrain when transporting cargo. Soft, round nozzles at the end of each leg not only reduce vibration, but also allow the robot to not do any damage to the floors. The maximum load for a robot designed to work in a difficult and dangerous situation is 25 kilograms or 55 pounds. The second six-legged robot introduced by the university is capable of carrying a person or loads of up to 120 kilograms or 264 pounds. Unitree Robotics inflamed the audience with their robot at the exhibition. The company brought to the exhibition its best robots, agile and affordable robot AI-1, which was recently learned not only to do flips, but also dance to music, and also the heavier, more expensive and more advanced robot Lycago. Deep Robotics also brought its four-legged robots. The robot Joying Pro still looks like the most unpromising copy of Spot from Boston Dynamics, but still has LiDARs, depth cameras, and GPS, seven types of gait, and strong limbs with high torque joints. The robot is able to map its surroundings, move independently, and bypass obstacles. UB Tech Company has brought three of its best robots at once. The most famous of them being the home and office humanoid robot Walker. The robot is also able to balance and independently adjust its center of gravity. Built-in sensors and 36 special mechanisms help it to walk around quickly and smoothly. The method of simultaneous localization and slam mapping allows the robot to bypass obstacles as well as move on uneven surfaces and slopes. Walker is able to capture various objects as well as recognize faces with machine vision. The second robot of the company is Alpha Mini. The portable robot is able to communicate, recognize faces, illustrated books, and objects. With 14 servo motors, this allows the robot to move smoothly, dance, do kung fu, and get up even if it falls. The Cloud Intelligent Service Robot, Cruiser, from UB Tech, worked actively during this pandemic, meeting and informing visitors in the medical facility. The robot's able to create a map of the area and move around autonomously, avoiding obstacles. This robot can recognize faces with an accuracy of 98% and can guess the gender and age of people it interacts with. Cruiser has a U-Meeting video calling, which allows it to conduct video conferences and serve customers in video mode. It also has the ability to collect, analyze, and store large amounts of data. Another robot administrator at the exhibition had a completely humanoid-looking robot that had the voice of anime characters. Zinsong brought to the exhibition smart robotic equipment for rehabilitation. The company demonstrated the capabilities of smart beds and exoskeletons on a teddy bear. 
But there was a massage robot and it showed its capabilities on a person. But at this point, we're not clear if the test subject experienced relaxation or horror. The CanBot company, which showed the robot cooker, distinguished itself with another very unusual invention. This time around, their clever robot specializes in traditional Chinese medicines. It also carries out appropriate diagnostics and advises visitors on health issues. Also presented at this exhibition was a robot for non-contact extraction of swabs from the oral cavity. The robot has been and is actively working in hospitals all over China. Also in the medical world, this robot Metabot, which has fully proven its safety and performance in hospitals and clinics in Beijing, is designed for automatic blood samples and it can pull it from the veins. The robot from Nurse Company uses infrared and ultrasound imaging to create a 3D image of the hand and find the closest and most convenient areas of the vein. It then injects a needle into the vein, removes the blood, and places it into a test tube for further examination. In the halls and corridors of the exhibition, there were robotic disinfectors from various manufacturers. They were able to treat surfaces around them and disinfect the air. Other robots were responsible for entertainment. For example, the Chinese robot Pongbot taught visitors how to play table tennis and was even able to play competitive matches with experienced players. And the robot artist, Cytokane, painted portraits of all volunteers in just three minutes. Cytokane was created by Shenzhen Academy of Robotics. The robot takes the client's photo, processes it, and creates a drawing with a black marker. Cytokane is designed for shopping malls and restaurants. It can both teach drawing skills and simply attract customers. At the fair, the company managed to sell two robotic artists at a price of $45,000 each. ZHZ TD220, a Chinese multifunctional drone of Zhong Hengzai Science and Technology Company was also illuminated at the exhibition. The helicopter-type drone is capable of taking off and landing in almost any conditions with maximum speeds of up to 120 km per hour or 75 miles an hour, and its range can go as far as 42 km or 26 miles. However, due to the high price, the drone is in demand by only government organizations and agencies. The Institute of Vehicles and Transportation of Tengxiao University presented six unmanned vehicles at the exhibition. The cars were running on a predetermined route transporting passengers. The cars were able to independently plan a route, automatically bypass barriers, and perform other functions corresponding to the fourth level drones. High tech giant ABB demonstrated two super capabilities of its Yumi robot. At the first stand, the company's robot was engaged in professional waste sorting. At the second booth, Yumi acted as a microbiologist capable of working in laboratories with conventional equipment. Bionic fish robots were swimming in swimming pools at the exhibition. Participated in the exhibition virtually because of the pandemic. Also at the fair, they presented virtual dressing rooms, which have long been gaining in popularity in the smart services market in shopping centers throughout China. But the robo-dogs from Ghost Robotics did not show up at the exhibition. They did show up in the promotional video of the American military pilots. Do you want to keep up to date with the latest and newest technology from around the world in robotics? Then definitely subscribe to this channel and stay up to date with all the news and videos.